One of the things that we've recognized as a company, of course of the mistakes we did before, is overinvestment was a problem. In that you end up stocking so much assets, when the industry goes down, you're stuck with them and stuck with heavy bank loans. So we've This was a few years ago, a Ugandan business eyeing a share of the oil and gas pie, blaming delays in processes for some losses. But economists say this could be a lesson to learn from. How did you tell that what government is doing was good enough for you to go to a bank and take out an overdraft of so many billions to buy trucks and put them on the road and wait for business? And who said that when the business comes, all of it will be your business? Those are questions that business managers and investors must answer. And the ball is in their court. Now again, I am not rubbing salt in the wounds. But I am saying that maybe more and more skills of this kind of strategy, understanding, planning and prediction, especially of risk, and so on, I think is necessary if the Ugandans are going to be able to work in this market. You can see what happened with the oil prices. One day they are up at 65, another day they are falling below zero. You need to be able to read the markets, the product markets, to the extent that you can predict some of these moves. Being a newcomer into the intricate oil and gas industry, seen to expand the country's GDP, Amar Energy's country manager Tom Bringrizar says, Cheating carefully was necessary. In my view, government has done what they had to do. But we are in a complicated industry. And we have been careful. Certain things have to happen before other things happen. For example, we need an airport before we can build a refinery. We need to be able to bring inputs into the, the oil area to use for, for the refinery. The airport is ongoing. That was done. We need certain roads. They are ongoing. I think if you look at the critical path, um, I wouldn't quickly pull out the stick to bash government on whether they've done a good job or not. I think they've done what was necessary to be done for the industry to get ready. Uganda's oil resources are estimated to be over 6 billion barrels, with a revenue projection of 2 billion US dollars per year.